All right, we're uh, factoring page one. We're going to look at the bottom where it says difference or sum of two perfect cubes. Uh, so let's write down the formula for the difference real quick. Uh, this is a cubed minus b cubed. No matter what a is or b is, it's always going to factor in this form. Um, a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So if we look down at that first example there where it has a cubed or 8x cubed minus 125, the first thing you want to recognize is it is one, is this a perfect cubed? Mm -hmm. Well, 8 is because 2 times 2 times 2 mm -hmm. is 8. Mm -hmm. And x is because x times x times x is x cubed. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's a perfect cubed. Is 125 a perfect cubed? Yes, yes. 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 times 5, perfect. So we know that this is the same thing as saying 2x cubed minus 5 cubed. So that's where we get our a and b. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to factor it over here. So this would give me 2x minus 5 times... What's 2x times 2x? 4x squared. Perfect. 4x squared plus, what's uh, a times b? What would that be? That'd be minus 10x. 10x, but I think it's a, it's a plus. Mm -hmm. It's not a minus. Here's why. This subtraction is taken into account here. Okay, so the b is just 125. It's not a negative 5. Oh, okay. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a plus 10x. And then plus, what would uh, 5 squared be? 25? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're yeah, because the there. term is b, not minus b. Right. But this up here was a cubed minus b cubed. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice the formula is different for the cubed, the subtraction of cubes, and the addition of cubes. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. All right. So b, we're going to do the next one, which is the addition. All right. So let me erase this. And we're going to actually do a squared plus b squared. And what you'll notice is that this changes into a plus b, and this changes to a squared minus a b plus b squared. Are you seeing the subtle differences? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you really want to know how to factor perfect cubes, those are just going to have to be things that you memorize. Mm -hmm. uh, the easiest way for me is if you're doing a sum of perfect cubes, then it's a plus b, and you're going to have one minus. If you're doing the difference, it's going to be A minus B, and then you're going to have all pluses. Okay, but, you know, work it out however you need to. Okay, our next example is 64 uh, plus Y cubed. Is uh, 64 a perfect cubed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I could write it as 4 cubed, right? Mm -hmm. 4 times 4 times 4. And this is the same thing as Y cubed. And so let's factor that out. What's my A going to be? Um, four. Four. Plus B is Y. Mm -hmm. What is A squared? Sixteen. Sixteen. What's A times B? Minus four Y. Four Y here. And then B squared is squared. Y squared. All right. So that's how you factor, uh, you know, the sum or difference of perfect cubes. Okay. Why is it minus four Y? Uh, because of the formula. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't make anything up. Okay. It's just straight plugging it into a formula. It's just exactly like when we had the difference of two squares. We have a squared minus b squared, and that's a plus b times a minus b, right? We yeah. just dealt with this a whole lot more, so this is really familiar to us, mm -hmm. right? When you start factoring, doing a lot of cube factoring, you'll want to be able to recognize this. Okay. All right. You can pause that.